In this project, we're going to try to show some of CorelDRAW X6 new features with power clipping that help us with tiling. Little different from previous versions. The way we'll be using, certainly not the only way, but we'll show us a few of the new features of CorelDRAW X6. What we plan to do is make a mural marble or tile three feet wide four feet high we'll put a, a unicorn in the middle of that mural okay let's get started let's tell Corelda that we have a new file and i'm going to call it uh, three by four mural and it is my strongest recommendation always in CorelDRAW, make your page size match your smallest unit. So we're going to be using 12 inch tiles. So we're going to tell it 12 inches wide, 12 inches tall. That's all we should need. There's our individual page, which represents a 12 by 12 tile. Uh, just because it's my habit has nothing to do with tiling, but I just like to work with a page background, so we'll tell it we'd like a solid background. I'd l I like to use the lightest yellow. Very important, if you're going to do this, be sure you turn off the print and export the background. There's our part. We're going to use CorelDRAW's page frame utility by double clicking on the rectangle. Double clicking on a rectangle creates a page frame. So we just created a 12 by 12 rec rectangle which matches our page size. We're going to go back to our pick tool and we'll zoom in on this a little and we're going to take this one tile that represents the page frame and we're going to drag that to the right, holding down a control key, which constrains that to 100%, and then right-click duplicates that. Control-R in CorelDRAW repeats the last command. So now we have three 12-inch tiles. We need those to be four high, so I'll grab the middle handle, Hold the control key down, which constrains to 100%. Right click, which duplicate or tells it to leave the original. And then control R twice. So we now have a three foot by four foot group of tiles that we want to combine to become a power clip object. So I'm going to drag a box around all of them. We'll go to Arrange, Combine, or I'm going to click on the icon, or we could, as you see the hotkey, click on Control l Now, that's one object. Let's get our object to be power clipped. I'm going to drag that out to be pretty close to an appropriate size there, and see how that looks. That looks good. I don't need to drag it off to the side, but I'm going to do that just because it might be easier to see the remainder of the steps. Now, in some cases, if we had some vector cutting in here, we'd probably turn off the outline of our curve. Notice down in the status line, we're told that that's a curve. A single object is selected. I could, by right-clicking on the X, turn off the outline. But in this case, when we go to laser print this, we'll tell it raster only. So we don't need to turn them off. And it could be a, a good visual to help us confirm we're doing what we want to do. So I'm going to go back and put uh, my red outline back on on those. And then we're going to select this item. Now before we do, 
Let's select this item, and in Corel X6, a brand new feature is the ability to designate that as a power clip object. Now, how do we do that? A new little menu available in X6. That's the Layout Toolbar. In the Layout Toolbar, we'll not discuss the other things now, but this leftmost icon allows us to assign a power clip frame to the selected object. So I'm going to select that. We'll shut down our Layout submenu. There you see it has drawn an X through the middle of that, designating that as a power clip object. So now I really don't have to go to the menu at all, since CorelDRAW knows that's a power clip object. I can just drag this out, position it about where I want it, and drop it in there. So now I have power clipped that into that curve. At this point, we want to break that apart. Arrange, break, power clip, curve apart. And we see that we have a total of 12 objects. We need 12 tiles. We need 12 pages. So I'm going to go up to Layout and Insert Page. We need to insert 11 pages after 1. So now that jumped us to page Two. So I'm going to select my second object and press P, which puts the selected object in the center of the page. Then I'm going to press Page Down. Tab will select the next object. P will put that in the center of the page. Page Down moves us to Page 4. Tab. P. Page Down. Tab. P, page down, tab, P, page down, tab, P, page down, tab, P, page down, tab, P. Sound like a broken record, doesn't it? Page down, not much in that page, but a little bit. Page down, tab, P, page down, tab, P. In the final one. So now we have 12 different tabs ready to engrave. Just to take a look at it though, I'm going to zoom up on that. Notice we're on page 12. I'm going to press page up and we could cycle back through the different pages. Six, seven, uh, seven, six five, four, three, two, and one. That's ready to print. We have 12 separate pages. Let's go to our printer. And I'm going to print that, let's say, to a 12-inch to a by 24-inch laser. So we're going to go to our layout and tell it to go to our special one-by-one -one imposition layout. And then let's edit that and tell it maybe we'd like to print two of those at a time. Let's see how that looks. So there's tile one and tile two. Notice down here in signature, we'll see what the next two would be. So we should have six of these as we go through there. At this point, if you got a 12 by 24 laser, I mean, you, we can engrave one of these at a time if we want to, but if we have a machine that'll handle two or four or all of them at one time, you can go ahead and engrave them as many as you can at one time. But let's play with this a little. Let's go to our settings and tell it that we have a laser just to see how this is working out. Let's tell it we have a laser 36 by 48. We'll OK that. And back here, let's tell it we want uh, maybe three of those across and four up and down. So there's no real purpose for doing this, just to kind of confirm 
that it's going to come out the way we intend. Now we're ready to press print and get to work. Project complete.